Hello, people, persons of the internet. I am here today to show you Resolume 7.7. .7. This is our latest update with some cool new features for Arena, Avenue, and Wire. So let's get to it. Arena, Avenue, and Wire now support multiple preview monitors. Let me start by demonstrating it in Arena, and after that, I'll demo it in Wire 2. Note that I am using Arena, but everything I do in Arena works in Avenue 2. When you open up Arena 7.7, .7, the first thing you'll notice is that the Preview Monitor and Composition Monitor are now under separate panels. This allows you to undock the Preview and Composition Monitor to different places in the user interface. The monitor has a little cogwheel at the bottom right. Pressing this reveals a whole bunch of new options. You can have monitors for layers and groups now. At the bottom you can select how you want to deal with opacity. Sounds great Resolume Man, but how do I get those sweet sweet extra monitors? Allow me to demonstrate. Simply right click on a monitor and select duplicate. There you go, an extra monitor, free of charge. Undocking multiple monitors allows you to create monitor interfaces like this. My main interface is running on my main screen and I have this monitor interface on my secondary screen. Basically we allow you to be big brother surveillance now. As a little bonus, when you are dragging a panel around like this, you might decide that it is a terrible idea and you want to quit. To stop a drag action you can now press the escape button to cancel the drag. Wire also has multiple monitor support now. The creation of extra monitors works the same. Right click on the monitor panel and press duplicate. Note that each monitor has its own pin. In this patch I'll pin the final texture out node onto my first monitor. The second monitor won't get pinned. As I navigate through my patch I can always see the final output and see the output of the currently selected node. Combining this with a new dashboard panel that was introduced in Resolume 7.6 I can monitor and control my patch from the panels without too much scrolling around. We are back in Arena with a super small but useful update that was requested by our community. You can now use Ctrl, Shift and L to enable and disable the test card. Very useful when setting up a show. When I navigate to the sources and effect panels, you can see that we have made a small overhaul. The video and audio effects tabs are gone and are replaced by these drop down lanes. There is a new lane too, favorites, as you can now favorite effects and sources. To do this, simply navigate to the desired effect or source, hover over it and click on the heart icon. This will put it into your favorites folder. To remove a favorite, simply press the heart again. We made a brand new color picker for wire. Instead of constructing colors with RGB values, you can now use HSB instead. We have built in some automatic color theory, so you will always have nice colors to complement your existing palette. Talking about palettes, your color picker has a palette. Clicking on a plus will add the current color to that slot in the palette. Right clicking on a color in the palette allows you to apply or override the current color or clear that existing color instead. The color gradient in the bottom has a little hidden feature that I'll demonstrate now. You can lock your picker on the horizontal axis by holding down the shift key. You can lock your picker on the vertical axis by holding down the alt key. This can be very useful when creating the perfect palette for your patch. And because this locking feature is pretty cool, we made sure that Arena and Avenue can also enjoy it. Wire has a new distortion example that functions as a starting point for creating your own distortions. We provide you with this building block and let you go to town with it. We'll do a tutorial on making distortions in Wire in the upcoming days, so stay tuned for this. And that was it for Resolume 7.7. .7. If you have any questions make sure to drop them in the comments below or ask them on our Slack channel. A link can be found in the description below. We hope you enjoyed this update and I'll see you in the next one.